How does HIV cause AIDS? Hello, it's Mark Medicals here with the latest on HIV cure news, HIV symptoms, and all about HIV tests. In this video, I will also talk about the following. 1. What are the statistics of HIV and AIDS? 2. What is the difference between HIV and AIDS? 3. How long does it take for HIV to cause AIDS? 4. HIV AIDS treatment. As a bonus, I will also tell you the best HIV test that detects your HIV very early after exposure, so watch the whole of this video. Alright. 1. What are the statistics on HIV and AIDS? With more than 7.5 million people living with HIV, South Africa has the highest number of people living positively. In the USA, the District of Columbia and Georgia have the highest proportion of people living with HIV. In the UK, England has the highest number of people infected with the virus. And, according to AIDS, more than 38 million people were living with HIV by the year 2020 globally. Of the 38 million people living with HIV, only 28 million people were on HIV treatment or antiretroviral therapy. In 2020, 1.5 million people were newly infected, and around 680,000 people died of HIV-related illnesses. Ever since the discovery of HIV-AIDS, more than 79 million people globally have been infected, and 37 million people have since died. This implies that, since the start of HIV epidemic, the number of people living with HIV today is close to the same number of people who have died of HIV-AIDS. In 2020, more than 53% of the people living with HIV were women and girls, implying that women constitute the largest population of HIV-positive living. Since 1997, HIV-AIDS-related death has reduced by 53% due to the availability of good HIV medications, and new infections declined by 21% from 2.1 to 1.5 million people. 2. What is the difference between HIV and AIDS? HIV and AIDS are different terms but sometimes people use them interchangeably. HIV is the virus that attacks and destroys cells of your immune system. AIDS on the other hand is a group of infections that take advantage of your weakened immunity to attack your body. Many people out there are living with HIV but have absolutely no symptoms. The only way to know if you have HIV or not is by taking an HIV blood test. According to current statistics, more than 1.2 Americans do not know they are living with HIV. People with AIDS live with very many infections leading to many symptoms. Want to know about normal CD4 cells? Watch on. 3. How long does it take for HIV to cause AIDS? Hope you guys know that HIV and AIDS are different. HIV is the virus if left untreated, destroys your immune system leading to AIDS. HIV slowly destroys your CD4 cells till they fall below 200, a stage you start developing many infections. CD4 counts range from 500 to 1400 cells per cubic millimeter of blood in a healthy person. If you do not take HIV treatment, your CD4 count will decrease over time. At concentrations of less than 200 cells per cubic millimeter, you're more likely to encounter a wide range of opportunistic infections, many of which can be fatal in the AIDS stage. If left untreated, you will develop AIDS in 5 to 15 years depending on the nature of your body, lifestyle, genetics, HIV strain, and others. 4. HIV AIDS Treatment by slowly destroying and depleting your CD4 cells, your HIV will eventually cause you AIDS. Studies have proved that, people with AIDS do not live beyond 3 years unless they get HIV medicines very fast. There is no HIV cure today, but as I have been telling you, companies like the American Gene Technologies are closer to HIV functional cure. The only way to treat your HIV is by taking your HIV treatment or antiretroviral drugs. By taking your HIV medications, your HIV will be reduced to undetectable levels in 3 to 6 months. People with undetectable HIV have zero risk of HIV transmission and will not die of HIV as long as they remain undetectable. 
Studies have proved that as of today, the life expectancy of HIV living people is no different from those with no HIV. As your bonus, the best HIV test that detect HIV very early is HIV RNA after 10 days, and fourth generation HIV tests after 14 days. If you want to know more about when those testing kits are close to 100% accurate, see our previous videos. So in summary, as HIV destroys and depletes your cells of immune system called CD4 cells, your body will not have any protection leaving it liable to be attacked by many infections like TB, cancers, skin infections, persistent diarrhea etc. Having couple of those infections when your CD4 cell counts are below 200 implies you have AIDS. Hopefully the question, how does HIV cause AIDS, is now answered.